This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now going to be going through question number seven from the International A Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P4, October 2022. Um, this is question number seven from that paper. And seven part one is about integration by substitution. Seven part two is also integration but by parts. And I'm going to separate these into two separate videos. Um, so I can save them under different um, playlists for the topic. Now, for 7 part 1, it says use the substitution u equals e to the power of x minus 3 to show that the integral of this expression, which is 4 e to the power of 3x over e to the power of x minus 3 with respect to x between the limits of lin 5 and lin 7 is equal to a plus b times lin 2, where a and b are constants to be found. All right, so now, when we're using integration by substitution, okay, then there's different ways that people do this, actually. Um, I personally prefer to just do, use a method where I start off with exactly what we've got to do. We've got to integrate y with respect to x between the limits in terms of x, x1, and x2. That's our objective. But by using the substitution, u, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this as y dx du du so we're going to write everything now in terms of u we have y in terms of u so all of y we have to change everything in terms of u we're going to find what dx du is in terms of u and we've got to make the limits now in terms of u so x1 and um, x2 becomes u1 and u2 right so now for us to be able to continue with this what we need to do is we need to find we need to replace all of these now our y is basically, our y is everything in here. So it's 4 e to the power of 3x over e to the power of x minus 3. So we've got to replace all of these with in terms of u. Now first of all, let's look at e to the power of 3x. Now e to the power of 3x is the same as e to the power of x cubed. And we know that if we look at what we've been given, u equals e to the power of x minus 3, I can rewrite this as... Um, e to the power of x is equal to u plus 3. So I can rewrite e to the power of 3x as u plus 3 cubed. So I can say, therefore, that this is equal to u plus 3 all cubed. All right, so e to the power of 3x is equal to u plus 3 all cubed. So I can write that as u plus 3 all cubed, and e to the power of x minus 3 is going to become u. All right, and then we're going to find what dx du is. So we have u equals e to the power of x minus 3, as they told us to use. So I can find with this du dx very easily. Well, du dx is just basically e to the power of x. So dx du, which is what we have to write, is 1 over e to the power of x, which is 1 over um, e to the power of x is u plus 3. All right, so now we have everything we, we can put in place. Um, apart from the limits, I'll do the limits in a minute. So I'll, I'll write the limits in a minute. But y is now 4 times e to the power of 3x. So what I'm going to do is I'll take the 4 out here. I always like to write that separate. I have e to the power of 3x, which we just de de determined is u plus 3 all cubed, over, um, we have e to the power of x minus 3, which is the substitution we had to use, which is u. And we've got to multiply this by, and we're going to have 1 over u plus 3. So that's 1 over u plus 3. I'm going to have du. Now what's left for us to do is to find the limits in terms of u. So we know u is equal to u is equal to e to the power of x minus 3. And when x, we know x1 is equal to uh, lin 7. Lin 7. So therefore, u is equal to e to the power of lin 7 minus 3. Okay, now, e to the power of lin 7. This is basically a function um, composite with its inverse. Okay, which basically means that they cancel each other out. So this becomes now 7. So e to the power of lin 7 is basically just 7. They cancel each other out. You're left with 7. So you have 7 minus 3, which is 4. So I know that the limit here is 4. And, when, and I know x2 is lin 3. Lin 3, was it 3? Just make sure. No, it was lin 5. That's why I should make sure. Not make silly mistakes. Okay, so that was lin 5. 
So therefore, you, this, this, the second u is equal to, now you have e to the power of lin 5 minus 3, which is 5 minus 3, which is 2. So we can say u2 is equal to 2. So we've got our limits of 4 and 2 that we've got to use. Now we're almost there. Now we've replaced everything in terms of u, and we can now uh, simplify this. Well, this u plus 3 and this u plus 3 cubed will become u plus 2 squared. And you're left with something that looks like this. You have 4 on the outside, limits 4 and 2. This is u plus 3 squared over u with respect to u. Now this is something which we're going to integrate with respect to u. Um, now we can do this by, I think, expanding. I think the easiest way to do this is expand the bracket here. So you have 4. So let's expand this. You're going to have u squared plus 6u plus 9 all over u. Then we can split this into separate terms. You're going to have 4. You have our limits of 4 and 2. You're going to have... Um, u squared over u, which is u, plus 6u over u, which is 6, plus 9 over u, with respect to u. Now, to integrate this, I'm not going to write this as 9 times u to the power of minus 1, because integrating that uh, will be a problem. We're going to use the lin for this integra integral. The numerator is of the form of the differential of the denominator, so we can use this reverse of the chain rule for that part. So now, when we start integrating, we stop writing the integral sign, we put the square bracket, we have u becomes u squared over 2, plus 6 becomes 6u, and as we mentioned, this becomes 9 times the lin of the modulus of u. And we have our limits of 4 and 2 in there. And now we can start um, substituting those values in. So I'm going to put 4 in here, that's 4 squared over 2, which is going to be 16 over 2, which is 8, plus 6 times 4, which is 24, plus 9 times lin 4, minus... And I'll put this in the bracket to protect it. I have 2 into u squared. That's going to be 4 over 2, which is 2. And 6 times u, which is 12, plus 9 times lin 2. I don't need to put the modular sign when I know this is a positive number now. Okay, now we can simplify this. Now, how do they want us to write the answer in terms of lin 2, I think? A plus b lin 2. Okay, so we're going to have 4 times. So we have 8 plus 24, that's 32, 32 minus 14, okay, 32 minus 14, is that right? Yep, yeah. so that's going to give me um, 18, so I have 18, um, and then I'm going to have 9 lin 4 minus 9 lin 2, okay, now this is going to be, I'll write it, I'll write it like this for first, 9 lin 4 minus 9 lin 2. Now, we want things in terms of lin 2. Okay, we want things in terms of lin 2. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write this as 4 times 18 plus... Um, now, this is going to be 9 lin 2 squared, using the power law, 4 is the same as 2 squared, minus 9 lin 2. 2. I can write it, I can do it there. I can also do it another way, actually, but this is fine. All right. And that becomes 18 lin 2 minus 9 lin 2. Okay. So I have 4 times 18 plus, that's 18 lin 2 minus 9 lin 2, which gives me 9 lin 2. So I have 4 times 18 plus 9 lin 2. 2, which gives me 4 times 18, which is 40, plus 32, which is 72, plus 36, 4 nines of 36, lin 2. I could have also done it another way. I could have taken out 9 as a factor here. I could have written this as 9 times lin 4 minus lin 2. And I could have write this then using the division law, to be line, the lin of 4 over 2, which is lin 2. So I'd end up with 9 lin 2, the same as I got there. So it doesn't matter which way you do it, you get the same answer. And we end up with our answer, 72 plus 36 lin 2. And that's the right form. So we can see A is equal to 72 and B is equal to lin 2. You don't actually have to write that down. B is equal to 36. Okay. Um, that's fine. It says in the form, so you don't have to write this actual down, but that's fine. You can do that if you want to. So there we have the uh, answer to this question. 
question number seven, part one. So it's all about substitution, giving, giving or using what they gave us to substitute, rewriting everything in terms of u, and using this like little chain rule thing here, y dx du du, finding what dx du is, you'll notice this really makes life easy when you, when you just write it in this form. Don't forget to change the limits as well. Okay, and um, there we have the answer to this question. Right now, um, if you're not sure, okay, for example, you're in the exam, and you're not sure whether your answer is correct, if you haven't made, if you, might, you, you thought you might have made a silly mistake or something like that, and of course you don't have the mark scheme in the exam like we do right now, so we can, uh, you know, you can't check to see if you've done the right thing. You could have done something really silly when you did one of the limits or something, and your answer, it might be wrong, all right? And you have time in the exam, and you want to check and make sure that you haven't made a silly mistake, then of course we can take our calculator and we can just type in exactly as you see here and it will give you the numerical value of the answer. So it might not give you the answer in this form, but it might give you what's equivalent to exactly in terms of a decimal, but you can still use that to check. So you put your limits, put your fraction, you have four, and then we'll use this button here, e to the power of, and I'll put three x, so three, and then we'll use this button here, x, over, and you have e to the power of x, so e to the power of x, and then minus 3, with respect to x, and then you're going to put the limits in, which are lin 5, so lin 5, the other limit, which is lin 7, on top. Okay, now when you press equals, it will give you an answer, okay, which is not in this form, but we can check our answer is correct, by finding out. So I'm going to store this answer as A, so we can remember what it is. And I'm going to type in 72 plus 36 lin 2, lin 2, sorry. And I'm going to see what that gives us. And we can see that that's exactly the same as what we just got. If I just press this, okay. That was the same answer that we got. Okay, this is equal to... 96.953, okay, and this is equal to 96.953. It's exactly the same thing. So we can be 100% sure that we didn't make a silly mistake in the exam. So the calculator, it says solutions relying entirely on calculator technology are not at all. That means you can't just write the answer down, okay. In fact, you, you know, it's, it's impossible for you to write it in, in this form that they want anyway with the calculator. But even if you just wrote the decimal form of it thinking you might get some marks, you'll get no marks at all, okay? So you, you, you can use your calculator to check at the end, of course, to make sure to rest that, put your you know, mind at rest, okay? But, um, you know, of course, you can't just do what I just did and, and think you're gonna get any marks, right? You have to just go through all the steps here of substitution to get your full marks and write it in this form. Okay, so that concludes this question seven, part one. Seven, part two, I'm going to, to answer on a separate video, which you'll find in the playlist. The playlist for this paper will be found in the um, link that will appear in this region here. Other questions from integration by substitution can be found in the, from P4 in this link over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can click on the, the video that will show up over here um, to, uh, you know, to see how you can use my channel to help you revise for your exams. So thank you for watching and see you soon.